Hello, and welcome to GeoTruth. Today we're going to look at the Moon on October 3rd, 2023. On October 3rd, 2023, the Moon continues in its waning gibbous phase. On October 3rd, 2023, at Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, around time 2259, which is 1059 p.m., pictures and videos of the Moon were taken using a Nikon P1000 camera. We will observe the pictures taken with a Nikon P1000 camera and compare them with mainstream science's pictures and graphics of the Moon. Using the astronomical data from the United States Naval Observatory, altitude and zenith of the Sun and Moon during one day, we will first locate the actual Sun and Moon's locations on the Earth when the Nikon P1000 pictures were taken. We will locate the Moon's coordinates first. The first row in the table shows the Moon's altitude is 90 degrees, which is directly above, at plus 22.65 latitude and plus 10.20 longitude. We will use these coordinates to locate the Moon on the circular level plane Gleason's map. On October 3rd, the Moon is 83% illuminated. The first row in the table shows the Sun's altitude is 90 degrees or directly above at minus 3.82 latitude and plus 132.55 longitude. We will use these coordinates to lo locate the Sun on the circular level plane Gleason's map. The Moon is shown as a white circle and is located at plus 22.65 latitude and plus 10.20 longitude on the circular level plane Gleason's map. The Sun is shown as a yellow circle and is located at minus 3.82 latitude and plus 132.55 longitude on the circular level plane Gleason's map. Let's compare the locations of the Sun and the Moon from September 29th to October 3rd. Between September 29th and October 3rd, the Sun is getting closer to the Moon. This is a picture or graphic of the Moon according to mainstream science, which continues to show loss of light and illumination of the Moon. However, the graphic shows mass where the Moon has no light which we don't see on the pictures or videos taken with the Nikon P1000 camera. Next, we'll take a look at the pictures and videos from the Nikon P1000 camera. So far we have seen the Moon go from 100% illumination to 83% illumination, which means the Moon has lost 17% of its full light capability. In observing the pictures and videos from the Nikon P1000 camera, we have actually seen that 17% of the Moon has actually disappeared with no mass. We continue to see where light no longer exists, there is darkness and no mass. We also continue to see areas where there are specks or pieces of light which are not attached to the edge of the moon.
Our observations are that between September 29th and October 3rd, the sun is getting closer to the moon. The mainstream science picture slash graphic shows more loss of light and illumination along the left side of the moon. However, again, the left part of the moon is still shown as a mass which we do not see in the Nikon P1000 pictures and videos. The Nikon P1000 camera pictures and videos shows the left side of the moon losing more light and illumination. The area where the moon is losing light is void of light and mass. Next time we will look at the moon's lunar cycle on October 4th, 2023. Good day.